Welcome everybody. We're playing Password today because Patreon voted on it uh, a month ago. I feel like it's been a while actually, but I was like, I want to put out a poll of what to do after Echo or before Flynn if Flynn's not ready in time. I don't know when this is airing, unless you're on Patreon, which it's probably tomorrow. That's irrelevant information. Uh, I don't know anything about this game. You don't know anything about this game, Toaster? Hi, I, Toaster. Toaster's I here. Hi, I'm Toaster. Good I'm intro. also here. Um, we didn't forget to introduce me. Uh, hi. Uh, I know basically nothing about this game. The only thing I know is there might be a character named Dean? Maybe? I don't know what they look like. I just think I read that name in relation to this game once. Uh, and the other thing I know about it is that people keep recommending it to us and they say that it's finished, but also it's gonna get like a Nintendo Switch port that's sort of a remastered version of the game, so I don't know what that means. There are, there uh, are, there are rewrites planned for several parts of the game, and the, pe the very people who were saying it was finished at the beginning all then seemed to admit that they knew that it wasn't really finished once everyone started saying it wasn't actually <laughs> finished, so I'm a little... It's a little bit of a, of a miscommunication there, I guess, but uh, I don't know. It's interesting. I, I inherent, I'm curious. I inherently get go, like not not knowing anything about it going in yet, just having a vibe. I get weird zero escape vibes from this game. I'm oh yeah, immediately. If that makes any sense or not. The music is kind of cool so far, but I mean the yeah. the thing with it, the thing that I find interesting about it getting a remake is that, as far as I know, this will be the first furry visual novel least on Switch like this. And if it's like getting a remastered uh, version, that would be kind of cool. But also, does that mean that of, it's not? Is, is Winds of Change not on Switch? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, I could be on wrong. Steam. If I'm There's wrong, at least Steam visual novels but for furries. Yes. Yeah. There are commercial products. I guess what I'm saying is it's just like this is this is a visual novel that is often brought up in the context of like Echo and Arches and, you know, like other like big popular indie furry visual novels. But this is the first one, as far as I know, that has like actual ambitions of like a full commercial release, uh, which is like you know, or a mainstream commercial release, like on a Nintendo platform, which is interesting. But that also definitely contributes to my perception of this game as not just a visual novel, so to speak. And I don't, I mean, I don't mean that in like a derogatory sense. I mean that in the sense of like, like Zero Escape is a visual novel and a puzzle game or, you know, like stuff like that. Like there's, or, or like, it's sort of like an adventure game. Uh, I get oh, the because you're used to the game, idea that like, purchasable like if like like the cartridge or like anything that like feels like a physical release or like a console release type visual novel you're used to it being something akin to like phoenix wright or zero escape or that has like an, an additional gameplay yeah. element yes exactly and like in my head just the idea of releasing this as like a commercial product it 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 signposts a few things like is this game gonna have nsfw my assumption is no if they're planning on releasing it on the switch you know like stuff like that so you know i i don't know anything about this game but i my brain is tr already trying to formulate what this game could be uh so that's kind of interesting i'm curious yeah, to see how I it have... lives up to my expectations <laughs> i have absolutely no idea if it has any kind of gameplay besides visual novel it might be a big leap yeah i have no idea I think it might be the first uh, I, I one mean, we're playing that st stars a hyena. Although it takes a moment to register because it's like a very stylized, uh, like, character design. Yeah, looking at him, I thought he was a raccoon at first, and then I was like, wait, that's not right. <laughs> you start processing what the ears look like and stuff, and like, why would he have like underbite fangs? You're like, hang on a minute, what? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just like but how it takes you a moment already... to process what he's holding. <laughs> Yeah, this game already <laughs> has like DS adventure game vibes though, like yeah. very much, it, it feels like it, if you told me this was like a Zero Escape fan game or something, I would believe you based on the, the vibe of the title screen. Alright, well this intro is way too long, I'm clicking it. This game contains graphic content, mature themes, ex including explicit nudity, <laughs> sex, and limited gore. Wow, so goes, <laughs> all right, there goes, goes I guess the Switch version really is going to be a rewrite, Eight wow. Audience <laughs> over the age of 18. <laughs>
This isn't a conventional story. It is intended to be played multiple times for the best experience. Characters can and will die as part of the narrative. Who, how, and why will depend on how you play. This game is a work in progress. Cars. Hmm. I like who that they who use... Lives here? <laughs> I like that they use light blue as the the text color um, right away. It, when I watch this is I'm going to be a super incredible boomer right now. But people don't know that like old subtitles. Usually when people think about subtitles for like anime and stuff in the VHS era, uh, they think of the orange or the yellow like hard baked subtitles. But some groups used light blue, this exact color of light blue. So I am extremely nostalgic. This is such a goofy thing to fixate on, but I'm extremely nostalgic for light blue colored text on the bottom third of a screen when playing anything like this, because it immediately <laughs> reminds me of being like a 10 year old buying anime VHSs from anime conventions. An incredibly specific point of nostalgia for this. Yep. The streets around my house were empty. Likely a case because of how early it was. Normally I'd still be in bed for the next few hours, get up, get myself some coffee, and move on to doing whatever it was I needed to do that day. School ended yesterday, and ra rather, than enjoy the fact, rather than enjoy the fact I didn't need to get up for classes, I was making my way towards the bus stop where I was to meet my friends. Why were they up early as well? One of us, by some miracle, or perhaps a stroke of good luck, managed to get us all expense paid vacation at a mansion up in the mountains for a month. What better way to celebrate than to have a taste of the high life before moving on to college? I set my bag down at the bus stop, checking the road. It was as dead as when I'd left the house, with no sign of the private bus that was meant to pick us up. Okay, this kind of location makes me really paranoid. Just because I, I immediately am like, is there a human sign somewhere <laughs> that they left in the furry game on accident? <laughs> oh, like I just start the, looking in the at all the signage. Like so a look, bathroom sign? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, do any of the weird little safety signs just have a human drawn on them? <laughs> <laughs> what is this terrifying flesh cryptid? <laughs> Groaning, I rubbed my eyes. Tiredness wouldn't have been an issue if I'd had the time to get some coffee, but excitement kept me from thinking rationally. I wonder how long I'd take, it'd take for the others to arrive, if only because once someone else was here, I could afford to zone out until I could take a nap on the bus. Oh dear, as well. you look conscious. When I turned to face the voice, I was greeted with Roswell's smile, along with the he... familiar scent. It's probably a boar. I was gonna say, is he Steven Universe? <laughs> is this what, isn't that what Steven Universe looks like? <laughs> uh, I've never watched Steven Universe. I haven't either, but he wears a pink shirt with a yellow star on it and has, yeah. Yeah, people seem like that's what he looks like. <laughs> it seems to be a show that made people angry for probably not reasonable reasons. Uh, <laughs> if you agree or disagree with this statement, <laughs> put it in the comments. <laughs> Fight the, for our engagement. For a children's show, the, the height of opinions doesn't seem proportional. <laughs> That's basically what I'm saying. <laughs> like, it's the anti-Avatar. It actually undoes all the good Avatar did by existing <laughs> somehow. I'm like, god damn. Uh, familiar scent of freshly brewed coffee coming from the two cups on the tray he held out. I assumed you might need a kickstart this morning. Here, you know which one is yours. Rubbing my eyes again, I nodded, reaching out for the coffee on the left. Not that I really knew which one was mine, but I had a 50-50 shot of getting it right. Why? I was gonna say, like, what is this? Like, this is like the, the opening choice that of Zero Time Dilemma. <laughs> like, this this is the most important choice in the entire game, and it, has, it changes the outcome of the entire playthrough. Oh no! <laughs> We're gonna find out that that this is the butterfly effect that sets off the chain of events. Well, it's one of the sincerely unhinged, 
just a sincerely unhinged idea I had that I scrapped was that, that when I was trying to write an idea, uh, when I was trying to write out like paths for a story, I considered the idea of having the protagonist pick items from a vending machine at the beginning, and that would sincerely change the course of the plot. <laughs> like there, like there'd be <laughs> hooks that come in now based on which item you have, and that affects which like version of a scene you get. Like it's different prints of the Spider Verse movie or something. <laughs> <laughs> Failing that, I could always look at the name written on the cup. Yeah, probably start there. Turning it over in my hand, I look at what the cup said. Ah, it's my name! My name's on the cup! I blinked, shaking my head again. There was no way the cup was blank. And I squinted, trying to make out the writing on it. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, you can't... <laughs> we, get to, we get to write the name? You should misspell it like the like the people at Starbucks always <laughs> no, misspell it's our, names. No, it's our no, it's no, it's going to become our name for the whole playthrough, though. Yeah, exactly. I just I'm, I'm your so name used... is Ann. You, it, it's like you know you you go to get something and or you order with Andrew and their name is spelled A N J R E W. <laughs> <laughs> like, why? How do they do it wrong every time? <laughs> I'm just it's a it's a tradition. It's true. Uh, I'm just. I'm just so used to there being a default name you get when you don't type anything, and like, for the sake of being able to like, collectively talk about the story amongst people, it's helpful to have a default name like Marco, so you just know what to call the protagonist. <laughs> so now I'm like, yep. uh oh. Well, I guess if it's a hyena, I've got no choice. <laughs> you <f> <laughs> <laughs> They tricked me. <laughs> <laughs> they tricked me. This game is very good immediately for uh, completely going against my expectations from what I assumed about the game before I knew anything about it. And then it just played a trick on you, so I guess everything's out the window. <laughs> <It's really good. laughs> so not only is it not a default blank name, but also... <laughs> <laughs> but also, it just calls you out if you say any wrong answer. It's like, it's, why is it? Why does it say that name? That's not my name. How'd is it gonna make? Is it gonna make fun of the fact that they spelled his name wrong? Like he's gonna be like, "Wow, yeah. the people at Starbucks really are bad at, at writing my name." <laughs> um, what is it? Is is this my one? You can't tell because of the name. I turn the cup around, frowning. You expect me to know based on this? No. Oh. Wow, I guess whoever wrote that must have just been as asleep as you are, Dave. The order should still be right, though. I wonder what happens if you write Dave. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> right, go ahead, change it, yeah. As I looked down at the name, I smiled. It was my name, a name I inherited from my dad. <laughs> oh, hey, you get you get special info. Okay, this is interesting, we've and now we get a different flag. We've now unlocked yeah. the good ending. Yeah, we did the good <laughs> ending. What's the matter, Dave? Mm, nothing, nothing at all. Just, I got this vague feeling that I got inside from a different timeline, when we died. <laughs> And then use that. <laughs> I've been permanently scarred by this franchise. The morphogenetic so field. <laughs> I'm so burned by that. <laughs> I rubbed my thumb over the name written in marker. If this had my name on it, then there was every chance that Roswell got my order right, too. As I took the first sip, I knew immediately that my order was correct. Just the right amount of milk, just the right amount of sugar, brewed to perfection. I didn't realize you needed it that badly, Dave. I would not trust a coffee that fast. <laughs> it's, it's too quick. It's, it's like, it, it's gonna be searing. Hey, you should know by now that I need my coffee in the morning. Oh, I know. That's why I stopped off especially. I didn't think anywhere would be open this early. I know some places. Don't worry about it. All that matters is that you have your awake juice. Oh no, the woke mob got to coffee. 
<laughs> Together we sighed as we drank our coffee. The street was just as quiet as it was when we arrived even with the added company. Before long, I noticed Roswell watching me curiously, much in the same way he'd watch for something to happen. Uh, Roswell? Why are you staring? You aren't excited? What, for this vacation? Of course a vacation. I thought you'd be, I don't know, more energetic? Well, I guess maybe a little. This internal nar narration was losing its shit earlier. I laughed, that classic hyena trait that shone through when I'd been caught off guard. A uh, hyuk? <laughs> that's 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 what hyenas sound like. Famous famously. hyena? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> but uh, maybe wait until the coffee has a chance to wake me up. Roswell rolled his eyes, rummaging around in his pockets for something before quickly shoving whatever it was in his mouth. Roswell wants Roswell's want to double check things like this with me went back to when we were kids. Whether it was a habit or not, I don't know. There were times I'd do the same, but it was mostly for homework and such. Even if that was only a couple years ago. Before that, he'd uh, been away, having moved far enough that we couldn't hang out like we used to. But hanging out as kids was easy, when you get... when you were literal neighbors. You know, this will be a good sort of... Send off, I suppose. That's what I thought. As I was as I was replying, I watched as Roswell shoved more of whatever it was in his pocket into his mouth, losing where I was taking my thoughts. What are you eating? Breakfast. Breakfast. Show me. Uh, You're not eating candy for breakfast, are you? Hey, they're fruit gummies. Fruit is for breakfast, ergo, this is fine. But the sugar, as you guys have coffee shop coffee. <laughs> Whatever point he was making was punctuated by him shaking his coffee cup. I knew he had a sweet tooth, but I wondered what his dentist would think. Orlando. We're gonna get characters real quickly here. Alright, what does Orlando look like? I'm just gonna cheat. He's a dragon! There's a dragon, man! Boy! Roswell and I looked over to where the voice had come from, watching as an energetic dragon bounded towards us. Good morning, friends! Orlando bounced on the spot dropping his backpack next to me and throwing an arm over his shoulders. Morning, Orlando. I shot the dragon a look, his bulk having nearly made me spill my coffee. Getting these the characters, These characters look short. Yeah, they're all I don't, all, mean, that, really I don't mean that in a bad way. They just look short. I like that. It's just very... <laughs> I don't know. It's like there's something cute about it. <laughs> they just, they're, they're like little stubby dudes. It's fun. <laughs> they're all toaster scale. Yes, exactly. My favorite. People you don't have to look up at. Getting the hint, we back down, stretching out his arms. It's just like MFF again. Where everybody was one height. <laughs> and then and then there was me and one other guy that were like six feet tall. I'm like, oh, I see what this trip's gonna be. Early mornings like this are a great start for adventures, don't you think? Only if there's coffee involved. I'm into that. Some of us can be just as functional in the morning without it, you know, Dave. Turning away before I get a reply in, Orlando calls down the street with the crocodile slowly lumbering over, away over to us. Sal, hurry up already. He is taller and triangular. Oh, he's... hello. <laughs> hello, big crocodile man. 
Poster knows who he doesn't want to die first. <laughs> yeah, I would like... He, can he be the, our love interest? I would like that very much. Setting his bag down, too, Sal gave each of us a small wave. Good morning. You look as awake as Dave does, Sal. Leave me alone, I'm tired. But answer me this, Sal. Are you at least excited for the mansion? At the very mention of the word, Orlando let out an excited cheer that was perhaps a little too loud for how early it was. Mansion! Mansion! Just thinking about how this guy only got two coffees for a group of four. I, yeah. I, oh, I, you're right. What a dick like, move. <laughs> why, like, if you know other people were coming, you just didn't cons like. Do you, did you pre know that these people would never want a coffee? Orlando, less loud, please. He stopped, shooting Sal a, a sour look. Well, excuse me for having looked forward to this for a while. No classes, mansion. How often do you get to? Have a month off, all expenses paid vacation, and a life of luxury. Looks like Sal went to say something, but but shook his head, looking off down the road to check for the bus. Aren't you guys all like graduated high school students? Don't you guys isn't all expenses paid most of your life? <laughs> so what? Too excited for the Wait, what? Oh, I, I understand. The the grammar there confused me for a second. Yeah. So what? Two excited for the trip and two not? So it's a tie so far? Maybe. Dean's here, though. He is? Look at that. There's a there's a Dean. I was no, right. So <laughs> one, one point for Toaster on In the predictions. In that you remembered a name. No I'm sooner clearly than just I'd... really smart. I knew, I <laughs> yeah, you just did, you, you deduced in, in your mind palace <laughs> there'd be a dean in this game somehow. Exactly. A bunch of students need a dean. No sooner than I had asked, I felt a hand lay heavy on my shoulder. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> it's really goofy. He's cute too. <laughs> he is. He's very goofy. Uh, all right, wait, really quickly before we get anything else. Rank the characters. Who's your favorite so far? Immediately. Uh, probably the dragon. Probably the dragon. Okay. Probably goes like yeah. Dragon, bear, croc, boar. Gotcha. Alrighty. Interesting. I think mine I is <laughs> is definitely croc bear boar dragon but damn in, in defense of this game i like all of their designs so far even if i think that on immediate first reaction the the boar gives me weeb vibes which <laughs> is very scary i'm so very terrified of his shirt locked in a room with him <laughs> <laughs> wow I'm, I based the boar on my best friend. <laughs> and Toaster is perfect, has burned this bridge. <laughs> Listen, all I'm saying is, like, I love love what's going on for this boar. He can live the greatest life he wants to live for himself. Live his truth. Please, Naruto, run at least a mile away from me before doing so, though. That's all I'm asking for. <laughs> I'm just slightly terrified of how quickly the characters are stacking and we need to commit to voices and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. Dean threw his arm over my shoulder and smiled at everyone in turn. My alarm didn't go off. Well, it did, but not long loud enough, I guess. Must have hit snooze one too many times. Don't worry. I assumed that might happen, which is why we're meeting now, so you're not late. Dean sighed out, rubbing his face with his free hand. Aside from tired, how are you? You excited for this mansion? W what mansion? 
What do you mean, what mansion? Where did you think we were going today? To be honest, uh, I heard that everyone was headed somewhere exciting for a vacation. I was just happy to be invited. Plus, winky face. He kneaded my shoulder, eyeing up the coffee in my hand. No one who else was invited, too, helped sway me. I rolled my eyes, a slight smile forming on my face. Dean and I were... friends? Not with benefits or anything more than that, but he for sure was trying to woo me. He was old-fashioned like that, apparently, and wanted a proper date before calling anything official. Until then, he made it clear that he was interested in pursuing something, despite me being free to do whatever I want. Sal, I didn't know as well as Orlando knew him. After meetings, we'd hung out a few times, but he and Orlando were mostly off doing things. Most times I saw Sal, it was times like this when we were all in a group t together. So Sal's the least close character you you've chosen poorly. <laughs> I, that's what, no, I always like the one that characters, uh, that, that the group isn't as close with. That's that's <laughs> always my favorite. Like, uh, in Echo, Flynn is my favorite, and he's the one that Chase has, like, the least good relationship with. But the easiest one to sleep with. Yeah, that's By exactly my type. significant margin in that game. <laughs> <laughs> Roswell and Orlando were school friends, and Orlando being who I hung out with a lot while Roswell was away. They got on as fast friends when Roswell entered the picture, but part of that was because Orlando was the high school president of the anime club. <laughs> oh, it was Orlando who was the closet weeb all along. I guess it's not even really closet. Well, it's and Roswell, because Roswell's in the anime club. Yeah. Oh, I, I read them like a goddamn book. I yep. knew it. Wow. All, all they needed was a star and, a, and an ascot. <laughs> Not an ascot, but whatever. <laughs> Speaking of, there was another member of the anime club who was coming today, and that'd be. I also gave this guy a, a, like a vague, nonsensical southern accent because he was wearing plaid, and immediately he's like, I guess he's old fashioned that way. <laughs> <clears throat> Speaking of, there was another member of the anime club who was coming today, and that. Wait, are they. Wait, 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 wait. Are they all in the anime club? <laughs> Is this an anime club trip? <laughs> Oh no, my, this, the, the real horror of the game has started already. You're gonna activate Toaster's fight or flight. It'll be okay. <laughs> oh, Hoss, you made it. I swear to God, if you're a horse. Okay, no, he's a cool no. bear. <laughs> bear? He looks like a lion did to me. Oh, he is a lion, isn't he? Probably. I, something about, yeah, I guess he's probably a lion. Seeing him head on and being white ish and having that, I'm like, it's a slushy bear. He's <laughs> 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 got that it's got that that blueberry cotton candy swirl. <laughs> 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 Don't know why this is my first thought. Uh, as he approached, Haas took off his sunglasses and hooked them in his pocket, balancing a tray of coffee cups in his free hand. Even more. Oh, uh, ah, so you seem to have a fair bit of coffee there. Yeah, one of these is for you, big guy. Dean's eyes lit up, shuffling around me to get his coffee and downing a good amount of it before sighing out, content. You are a lifesaver. I brought another one for Dave, but it seems like he already has one. Oh, no, I'll drink that one too. Gimme, gimme. Gremlin. Here, take it. Face? <laughs> Us handed it out to me, and I swiped it eagerly, sighing out as I used the heat to warm my hands. It is possible to drink functionally infinite coffee in the morning. And Just then you have a panic attack at 2 p.m. when it all hits at once. <laughs> wait, why would it take until 2 p.m.? Wait, wait, I guess your mornings start late. I was like, hang on a minute, I have to redo the math. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I generally am awake at 10, and that's when I start start drinking coffee, but... Hey Dave, given I'm already halfway through mine, interested in sharing that extra one you have? I felt my, air, my eyes narrow. It's time like this that I disliked that Dean took his coffee the same as me, but my look was enough to dissuade Dean from asking again. 
So Haas, how's things? Sleep well? Of course. As if demonstrating his point, he ran a hand through his mane, adjusting how it was sitting. I always have to get my beauty rest in. Can't afford having crow's feet at my age. Not to mention, if you're going to have a mane, better have it well groomed. Haas had always been one to have aspirations for the big screen. Or maybe he was just very conscious of his appearance. Not that it was a bad thing. Occasionally he'd be wearing the latest clothes or smelling really nice, but always really groomed. I admired him for that sometimes. So about this mansion, Haas. What about it? You don't look too excited. Maybe he just needs more coffee in his system like Dave does. What about you, Haas? At the moment, we're at a tie. Well, it's not every day you get to experience something new, and this sort of thing isn't really something that you can just up and go do for a day, right? Not that I'm going in blind, but you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. That's, that's insensitive. <laughs> that's insensitive when they're actual horse people. Gift that's a horse? <laughs> Not, yeah, in universe, this sounds like it could be a questionable phrase to be just thrown around. It was at this point that the sound of the bus approaching called our attention, and it pulled up alongside the bus stop we'd arranged for it to pick up us up at. I, that could use a punctuation somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Definitely noticing a small veneer of, of furry visual novel grammar <laughs> in Oh here. yeah, there's a bit of a run-on sentences that kind of try to accomplish a few too many things without in one go. Like, they could just yeah. take a breath, separate the thoughts a little bit here and there. Maybe I'll explain later. Either way, let's get to it, right? He said he's not going in blind, so does that mean he researched the cabin or whatever? Maybe? The mansion. I should call it a cabin. In I my don't... head, they're going to, like, a lakeside cabin. That's not what they're doing, though. <laughs> I don't really know what's happening. They haven't said anything about it yet, right? They said it was a mansion. They won a trip to a mansion. Like it's just they like, said, yeah. it's just like all expenses paid vacation thing. Yeah. The uh, the art for the game has people like nervously pressing buttons or something. So I just think I just think like it's a puzzle mansion inherently, but I have no idea what's going to happen there. So I don't know what he could have researched, and we don't know what that means because he hasn't said anything. So it's time. Really, it's time. Orlando looked like he was ready to burst with how he jumped up and down. Jeez, you're gonna wear me out just looking at you, Orlando. Calm down. But... While Orlando and Dean chatted about something, I zoned out, opting instead to look down the road. There was one last person I was waiting on. Someone who I'd personally invited that hadn't shown up yet. So many goddamn characters. <laughs> Oh, it's the bus guy. <laughs> like, this guy doesn't look like his page appropriate. <laughs> this is his sugar daddy he invited to come on the mansion <laughs> trip with him. As it turned around, there was a polar bear standing there with a clipboard, looking as if he'd had little sleep. He adjusted a cap on his head while we looked over the list before looking into Roswell. Ah, uh, I'm picking up a bunch of people to head up into the mountains. Have I got the right group? That should be us. The driver nodded, crossing something off his clipboard before looking over each of us, counting. Someone missing? M missing? I, I don't... Wait? Yeah, they're just running late is all. Won't be too much longer. If you knew how many people were coming, and one person wasn't here yet... Dave, why did you take the last coffee? <laughs> Dave. Oh, no. Dave. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Dave? <laughs> they, they brought the correct number of coffees, and you're like, nah, mine. <laughs> All right, well, hop on then. Roswell looked at me, confused. Who are we missing? Everyone's here. 
Sal, Hoss, Roswell, Bus, Mansion. <laughs> I don't do <laughs> sentences anymore. The narration took them all. Sal rolled his eyes, retrieving his bag, and at the same time, Orlando's, before getting on the bus. Oh, right. That plus one I said you could bring. Now I get it. Roswell turned to Orlando soon after, and I got the impression that Roswell had prioritized what he was about to do over questioning who we were waiting on. Say, Orlando, how do you think I managed to get the mansion for a month anyway? A month? Oh my god. Yup. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't know. Ah, uh, well, then let's just say family connections. What? Why? <laughs> Why I thought they say? won it. I thought they won. Didn't they say they won? Am I wrong? Did I, am I just making this up? For some reason, I thought they said I they like, thought they won did and win all it. expenses. Yeah, maybe the family connections are to an entire factory of people that can all search the candy bars for the golden ticket. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. This is seeming more like a thing you'd sell our souls for. How readily available are mansions, anyway? Orlando's scales paled slightly, his excitement shot. I didn't think Roswell's family had that much sway, but I was open to this just being my, a lucky break. Souls? Well... Have you heard of a double-blind trial? <laughs> Orlando hurriedly reached out for <laughs> Roswell, who stepped back out of reach, throwing his hands up as he backed over to his bag. Tell me you didn't, Roswell! Again, he reached out for Roswell, who ducked under Orlando, using a smaller frame to his advantage. Is he smaller than, or than, than, than Orlando? Just remember to play to pay uh, God, I can't speak. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've read this name multiple times today because there's a character in Final Fantasy 16 named Karan uh, as well. Just remember to pay Karan the toll for crossing the river when you get on the bus, Orlando. I... Roswell giggled, jumping onto the bus and out of reach. Well, whatever the reason, I'm happy. It'll be nice to have an early taste of the good life. Early? That's presumptuous. <laughs> Poss is made for greatness, apparently. <laughs> Poss joined Roswell soon after, with Orlando still having a miniature panic attack on the sidewalk. He'd always been wary of the supernatural, which given Roswell's interests in the in it occasionally brought uh, responses like this. The name badge the driver wore said Liam, right? Not Caron? I... I wasn't paying attention? Oh god. I'm going to die, aren't I? With slumped shoulders, Orlando waddled onto the bus, leaving myself and Dean on the sidewalk. So... So, Dean had finished his coffee and flicked it into the trash can nearby. When he turned back to, to me, he placed both hands heavily on my shoulders, making my knees buckle, if only a little bit. So, a month alone. I chuckled again, this time nervous. My cheeks were warming up, and if it wasn't for my fur, I'd probably, I'd probably have been beat red. Dean's particular brand of flirtation was either sappy or just forward, sometimes coming across as just tactless. But still, I liked it. I just wished I had the confidence to return it in kind. I think I'm, I, I know. I mean, if you're into it, he's doing all the work for you. That's, that's not. That's exactly easy. what I was about to say. <laughs> I mean, like, it's. I, I definitely understand being like socially anxious and and not wanting to be super romantic in public, and like, I, I understand the difficulties of like be you know being romantically forward with people even if they're romantically forward with you but i find it unrelatable on a personal level because the second if someone even remotely expresses attention in my life i'm like oh wow like i this is the go ahead like let's Ooh. let's just go so when dean is like uh you know dean is here just like very openly flirting 
It's different, obviously, if, if you know, you, you don't like the attention and you're like, oh, this is creepy, please stop. But, like, yeah. this main character clearly is like, ooh, ooh, I like it. He's like, he's like my sort of boyfriend. Like, it's just like, dude... To beak you back to him. <laughs> Open up, man. Why are you so frigid? I'm just trained by visual novels now to be like, okay, what's the catch? <laughs> what's yeah, wrong exactly. here? Where's his red flags? Oh, I guess the person showed up. What is he doing here? My sexual rival, Wide Wolf. <laughs> he, uh, he's got a he piercing, looks... so he's really cool. <laughs> he looks like a gamer. What up, gamer? <laughs> Unwashed is this gamer the edgy X character? Uh, I don't know. Somebody we invited on purpose. Oh. The wolf approached nonchalantly despite having almost missed the bus. Maybe it was because he was sure that I wouldn't leave without him. Is he wearing is he wearing like like baseball uh basketball shorts? Yeah, he looks like either that or, or like sweats. sweatpants. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. He looks like a gamer. He just rolled yeah. out of his gamer den. To, uh, he got off league to make it to the bus stop after he's an dressed, all nighter. He's dressed how I'm dressed right now. Like, I am wearing a tank top and basketball shorts, but I'm sitting around inside <laughs> all day recording video games. <laughs> That's what he was doing. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> if anything, we're lucky he put pants on. In unison, I looked up at the windows on the bus and the others who were giving my plus one the evil eye. Not that I blamed them, knowing what sort of reputation Tyson had. Wait, you're going on a month-long trip and you added a plus one that people don't like without talking to anyone first about That's this? That's awful. That is, what a that is truly bad. We really are I, the that chase would get of this him game. left at the bus stop. Yeah, we're about to we're about to leave without Dave. <laughs> they go on the adventure, and the rest of the visual novel is us just like being bummed out at home and not get and like getting like seeing vague posts on Twitter about what other people are up to. But I'm not there. <laughs> you can do this one. I did the bus driver. <laughs> uh, what does Tyson sound like? There's a gruff, there's like a, there's a stout gruffness to every character that makes me want to give them all the same voice. <laughs> so I have to like, give, oh, fuck. give him your best gamer voice. <laughs> what is my gamer voice? Uh, <laughs> uh give, give him your best gamer voice. Come on, Keith, you're the professional just, gamer. Just give you him a completely know. unlikable voice. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do, do, there's a serious lack of characters that sound like they can use an entire half of my register that I would like to use. <laughs> <laughs> like, which character am I gonna ruin when ruined by voicing like this when they don't look anything like that? <laughs> uh, okay, I, guess, I guess I could use a prompt, like if the game described the voices more at this point. I, th I don't think they have been really. They haven't it's described kinda, any voices, no. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. So I already did the. I already did a deep dude. I did a. I did my stor normal talking voice, and I did. <laughs> apparently, I'm going with the southern accent. <laughs> Uh, hey. I look back to Ty, who was sizing me up before stealing a look at Dean. By comparison, Dean looked much like the others in the bus. Just in time, yeah? Dean was grumbling, grabbing his bag and getting on the bus. As bad as it was, I knew he'd be fine eventually, and kept my attention on Tyson, given no one else had lingered to say hello. Yeah. Just in time. You didn't tell anyone I was coming, did you? I laughed again. And Tyson knew better than any of the others when I'd been caught out with how long he'd been around. Not as long as Roswell, but longer than Orlando. You're a fucking brat. No avoiding it now. But hey, you're here, so that's good, right? I shrugged, looking around for a bit if he didn't want to look at me directly. As if he didn't want to look I, at me directly. I can't tell if he's an ex that, like, the others don't like, or if he's just, like, an antisocial dweeb that people are not fond of because he doesn't shower and only uses Axe <laughs> body spray. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if he's just kind of an antisocial asshole. Like, I can't tell. He just has a piercing and all of their parents warned them about him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well... 
Don't think I'll be making any new friends this month. It's gonna be a miserable trip then. Yeah, what a downer. A oh. month? Hey, you never know. Prefer if I didn't, to be honest. Easier that way. Still, thanks for the invite. Of course, Ty. Couldn't not invite you after all. Couldn't not? Why not? <laughs> What is what I need I need, we need to develop some of these relationships. I need to figure out what's going on with some of these people. I followed Ty onto the bus, sticking behind him as he shoved his way down towards the back. The bus lurched and I dumped my bags in an empty seat, taking note of where everyone was. Ty was at the back by himself. Roswell and Orlando were sitting close together. As were Dean and Sal, although the pair of them Looked, although the pair of them looking to settle in for a nap, and Haas was pulling out a magazine, leaving Ty to stretch out over the back seat. I wandered over to Orlando and Roswell, who seemed to be having some sort of continuation from their discussion outside. Uh, no, but really, uh, what did it cost us? Oh, you know, only our souls. Orlando let out a wail, clutching his head. You know he's not serious, right? How do you know, Dave? Roswell gestured at me with a piece of red licorice, a smug grin on his face. He knew how to push buttons, especially Orlando's. Um, well, wouldn't... I mean, our souls aren't worth that much, are they? <laughs> wow. <laughs> One of the things... That, sorry, this is totally unrelated. I just noticed something about these character designs that's really interesting. But this is a thing, this is a thing that bothers me in anime as well. But this dragon has like full on beard and goatee. And while there were definitely kids with facial hair in my high school when I graduated, this dragon especially looks like 30. <laughs> you know, like, like he does not look like an 18 year old fresh out of high school. And I'm looking at all the other characters, and, like, Dean as well looks older, and the boar looks older. So I understand the desire to set this in, like, a high school setting, but, like, it's also an NSFW work, so you can't do that for obvious reasons. So, so they have to finish be like, with high school they're, now. They're done with high school now. But, like, also, <laughs> this is where you get to the cascade of, like, extenuating circumstances that make this such an extreme situation where it's like, all right, well, they need to rent a mansion for a month. How do they do that? Well, they're all too young to rent it on their own dime, so they have to win a sweepstakes. And also one of them has family connections that, that allows it all to happen. So it's like, it's like a lot of justification. When in my head, I'm like, this story would be the same if they were all like 32 and celebrating someone's promotion and just got an Airbnb. <laughs> like that's what adults <laughs> do. Like it's not that extreme. <laughs> you know I what imagine I'm some like, kind of plot is happening at the mansion. So the mansion's probably has to be some kind of weird like outsider thing, and not just oh, like sure. a thing they chose to, like from a like a catalog. Like it's yeah, but uh, yeah. but I uh, I guess I guess it could be contextualized as like the characters are. They just have facial hair not based on age, but instead based on like what kind of animal they are, essentially, like the lion. Uh, although even that has like the whole like... I guess Simba was probably characterized as being approximately barely an adult when he shows up at the end, and that's when he has his big mane and everything. Like that kind of transition. Uh, I just generally prefer when characters are college age or higher, because just, just in general. <laughs> Yeah. So them all being like, a, like the exactly things... 18 is a, is a little like, eh, why? Yeah. Yeah, I was just about to say that. And then uh, one, one of the things here, this is a, this is a challenge that um, I'm kind of just using this as a platform to put out. But uh, there are answers to this. But as a thought experiment, especially when it comes to anime, but also when it comes to... Uh, like mystery, like Japanese developed video games and obviously like lots of comic book stuff in the West and stuff, but like puzzle games, horror games, this sort of like adventure game setup. Try, try and realize how many of these stories take place with high schoolers that either have like 
magic or a supernatural ability and there are strange or uh, unrealistic circumstances that lead to their events that are completely outside of the character's control. Those three tropes come up so often that it becomes sort of this codified genre in and of it uh, of its own. So I, I always really treasure stories that don't have that, where it's like, oh, it's an anime that doesn't take place in a high school with superpowers or battles. That's crazy. <laughs> like, I can think of, like, five of those off the top of my head, um, you know, or things like that. So and three of them I mean, are that's Odd not Taxi, cr- repeating. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Well, like, Odd Taxi is a great example of, like, wow, this is literally just an anime about, like, 30 30 year olds doing stuff like like whatever um and granted again none of this is actually like a critique like something is not bad because of that and this is plot yet (laughs) yes exactly it's just funny for me to think about this of like oh it's this is this is already lining up to be in that genre of like high school supernatural murder mystery where one of the characters is like inexplicably related to like a you know if it turned out like yeah and actually this is all like an occult science thing where there's a lab underneath the mansion like i would be like all right yeah like go figure so which character uh, is going to that. die first but then come back at the very end and turn out to have been behind it all Oh, uh, <laughs> hmm. That's a good question. Yeah, my guess is is it's gonna be uh, it's uh, everyone is guilty on the Oriental Express situation. Oh, oh we're making different <laughs> references today. Okay, <laughs> that's what I'm. That's yeah. what I'm expecting. <laughs> uh, but we'll we'll see. Uh, but yeah, no, it's just it's interesting, and and obviously people can comment below their favorite anime that doesn't take place in a high school and doesn't have superpowers or whatever. Yeah, famously, uh, there are only five of them, according to Toaster. So you can only list five. The, and I then did you not have say to, that. You have to battle to the death <laughs> with anybody else that lists any other ones <laughs> because they can't That's exist. That's not what I said at all. They, <laughs> there are plenty. There are, there are definitely probably over yeah, 100. Most but of them. <laughs> most of them. Most of but, anime <laughs> are not but bad. But my, my point Point is there are lots of of these stories that all happen to take place you know s- teenagers with superpowers is just a very popular or teenagers with the supernatural is just very popular i was gonna so. say that i specifically dodged that so i kind of forget how popular it is but then yep. like my favorite anime is probably that because it's, <laughs> it's just beastars <laughs> yeah like they definitely you can forget a little bit but it is basically like that subgenre yeah again. it is literally yeah it's literally like it takes place in a high school among yeah, high schoolers you've, you've heard it here they... first beastars is literally yu yu haku show yeah exactly he's it's, specifically it is... chosen to be the hunter that solves the problem and <laughs> Yep. This yep. is a dumb conversation. Right. It is stupid. I don't know why we're going on about this. It's just, I guess what I'm saying is you can tell that the people who make this like anime because they have characters that are in an anime club and it has a setup very similar to many very popular anime. That was the point I was ultimately trying oh, to make. Oh, the bus is taking off. Oh, what's that out the window? What did we leave behind? Oh, no, we forgot the soapbox. It's gone now. <laughs> uh, oopsie. Oopsie. Um, my bad. Oh yeah, that was about the price of souls. I forgot about that, right? Because we're it thinking about, about we're souls. thinking about anime because we're uh, we're dealing with uh, this guy in particular, the dragon. Like he's that kind of like somewhat unrealistic, goofy written character. Yes, he's, he's not like this can get grading really fast, and he's not currently that, but he is that type no, of he's character. Not. Yes. They're, they're being light with it and not like overwhelmingly like a lot with him but it is like this like slight I'm like this dialogue wouldn't come from an 18 year old really <laughs> like, yeah well I mean the reason the reason why I brought it up is is especially just because he like looks like he's 30 but he's written like he's 15 <laughs> so yeah it's like it's just a little it's interesting all right hey now you can't go saying that you're worth plenty yeah, your soul alone could pay for this whole trip. I laughed, nervous before settling into a wry smile. There you go. Now you can have your old your soul back, Orlando. Orlando and Roswell looked uh, towards one another before looking back at me. So, uh, 
You do know the other reason I put this together, right? Huh? What reason? Oh, that was that was me. <laughs> huh? Yeah. For what reason? <laughs> I gotta get used to the names a little bit. There's just so many. <laughs> Ever since the incident, it, you've been. Oh God! Ever since the incident, what like, what what does this mean? <laughs> <laughs> throwing a curveball into things. You've been sort of distant, muted, maybe. Like I don't know. You don't seem like the cheerful hyena you were before it happened. Like there's some sort of like other consciousness. <laughs> oh, I... I guess I haven't, huh? Once again... Yeah, it's, it, I guess I haven't been myself since I was possessed by the demon and murdered my entire family. <laughs> Funny how this only came up now. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, they looked at one another, almost as if wanting to the other to say something first. I... We just made... Missed the old you is all. I'm fine. Really, just a... Well, you know how it is. Are you sure? Positive. Then, I guess that's all there is to it. This'll be the best vacation ever. Promise. Power of friendship. He's got, like, a uh, gumshoe brain. Yeah. The best vacation ever? I sure hoped so. With high school over for Haas, Roswell, Orlando, and I, this is going to be the last time we could freely hang out together as a group. So high school's over for specifically those characters. So the three of us and Haas. Implying everybody else either is in high school still or already graduated? Sure, there was every chance we'd be able to see each other every now and again, but nothing like this. I looked for the others in the bus, a slight smile forming. These are my friends, and I was happy they were here. I stifled a yawn, wondering if I should get a nap in now or hold off a bit. We were going to be on the road for a while, so I could spend some time checking in with the other people or just get the nap in now before we arrived. Choices! You know who I'm gonna pick if we get, if we get to choose. <laughs> if I get to choose. The moment they lean, the, mo the moment they detailed everyone, I'm like, okay, here we go. This is this is choice time. We're definitely like, this this is a, a context in which to split up. So you like go for that guy, that guy, that guy, 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 or be ace, <laughs> be a well-rested <laughs> asexual individual. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out Talk next time because we're an hour in. See you guys next time. We're in for the long haul. Let's go.